All right, so in the last one, we were able to get uh, Firebase into our application and get it started in the Firebase console. Now we, we need to get started with authentication. So in other words, we want to start actually being able to log in with users. And before we do that, I just need to fix something in our build.gradle file. This apply plugin here needs to be down below the dependencies. Um, so that's one thing. And the next thing is I just want to make sure you guys have all the necessary SDK tools before we move forward. I, I was having some issues and I realized that I didn't have something installed. So go to tools up here, go to Android, go to SDK manager, go to SDK tools here, and just make sure that you have Google Play services checked off right here and you have Google repository checked off. If you don't, just check those off, hit apply, and Android Studio is going to install some tools for you. Once that's done, you'll be ready to move forward. So now that that stuff's all done, we are going to actually add authentication to our app. And the one way you can do it is you can go up to Tools, go to Firebase, and go over to go over to Authentication here, and click on Email and Authentication, and click on Add Firebase Authentication to your app. Now this was this wasn't working on my Android Studio. I'm going to try it again right here. But if it doesn't work, which I don't think it will, we're going to just add the dependencies manually instead of using the assistant. So just try to add it by going to accept changes. And you can see right away, look at my build.cradle, it gets all messed up. All the dependencies got moved around and it's definitely not right. So what we'll do is just hit control Z and it'll bring everything back to the way it was. And we're, if you're having trouble just like I was, we're just gonna add the dependencies manually. So how you do that is you just open up and we can go to, this is actually the, the dependency right here. But if you don't know where it is, just go Firebase authentication and go to the first link here, so docs slash auth. And we can scroll down to over here under Android, getting started. And we can just get this, um, this dependency right here. So I'm just gonna copy that. Let's go back to our project and I'm gonna paste it down here. So Firebase authentication and just paste that dependency right there. And this is the authentication dependency. So this is what this was supposed to add, but for some reason it was messing up my Gradle. I really don't know why. Uh, could be the comments, uh, but I'm, I don't think so, I doubt it, but uh, this should work here. So there you go, no errors, no issues. My Gradle file is all good. So if you're having that issue, just manually add the dependency like I just did. And so basically what we want to do here is we want the app to start, and when the app starts, we want to check and see if there's a Firebase user logged in. If there isn't, then we want to go to the login screen. If there is, we just want to proceed like usual. So to add authentication to your app, first thing we need to do is actually add users. Since we don't have a registration system right now on the app, I'm just gonna add users in the back end on Firebase. So let's go to our console and go to authentication, sign in, uh, sign in method, and we're gonna enable email and password sign in. Just click enable, click save, super easy. Now we're gonna add a user, so just go to add user up here. Mitch at So you're gonna say my password is password, add the user. So now we actually have a user in the database and this is gonna be their unique user ID right here. So now we can go back to our project and we can write code to handle that login. And uh, so what I wanna do is I'm in home activity, home activity is gonna be the one that starts when the app first starts, always, because if you go to the manifest, we can see that it's the launcher activity. And so in here, basically, we just wanna check if a user is signed in or if a user isn't signed in. So we can just follow this kind of um, tool here that's outlined by Firebase we can get this, this Firebase auth object. So let's just get that in there, import that library, and then we need to get our auth state listener. So copy that. We're just gonna follow the instructions here. Next thing we need to do is get an authentication object or initialize the authentication object, which is actually app-wide because it works on an instance basis. So this same authentication object can get accessed from any activity or any fragment in your application, which is awesome and then we just need to declare the auth state listener. So let's create a method here. We'll go private void setup Firebase auth, and it's gonna take nothing. And we will get our Firebase instance, and then we're gonna get our auth state listener. Just following the instructions here, and just write a log, so start, uh, I guess, yes, setting, up Firebase off, and just do some comments up here. 
So what this is going to do is it will get the Firebase authentication object right here, and then it's going to assign an authentication listener. And what that's going to do is it will check passively, automatically, as soon as anything is changed in the database, or if an activity starts or a fragment starts. So right away, it'll say if the user does not equal null, it'll say that this user is signed in, and it'll get their user ID right here, which is the same user ID that you see right here. Or if they are not signed in, it'll tell you signed out. Pretty simple stuff, but we gotta follow, finish following the instructions here, and you can see that we need to add an on start method. So let's just uh, we'll just throw that in there also, and we also need this on stop method. Now, if you don't have these, it won't work. So make sure that you have those. And I'm actually gonna separate this a little bit. Let's uh, let's do just separate the Firebase stuff from everything else. I'm just gonna say Firebase, and do a little heading here, and I'm gonna cut all this so I'm going to highlight everything here and I'm going to cut it and I'm going to put it down to the bottom so that all the Firebase stuff is kind of just in its own separate little section. So right away we let's just test what we've done so far. Let's call this setup Firebase auth uh, method here. So setup Firebase auth and just make sure everything's working correctly. What we expect to see is the auth state changed say that you're signed out because currently we have no users signed in. So that's what we expect to see. So let's run the app and see what we get. Okay, so the app started. Let's go to the Android monitor. And we can see right here, home activity does start first. And it says on off state changed, signed out. Meaning that there is no user that's currently signed in. So that's basically what we need to change now. Oh yeah, you can see up here, uh, setting up Firebase off, uh, does a bunch of stuff, and then off state is signed out. So cool, that means it's working correctly. Now we need a method to check if the user is signed in or not and if he is signed in then we want to navigate to login activity if he isn't signed in then we basically just want to or sorry if he isn't signed in we want to take to the login screen if he is signed in then we just want to carry on and do what you would regularly do in home activity or whatever so i'm going to create another method i'm going to put it up here and we'll go private void check current user and it can take a user, so I can go Firebase user, user, and sort of log saying, checking if user is logged in. And we can just go if user equals null, then we want to navigate to the login screen. So we just use an intent. Oh, whoops, we gotta do context and then login activity class and then start activity with the intent. And so that this this will do everything that we need. So checks to see if the param user is logged in. So if he is not logged in, the user will be null, and then we can navigate to the login screen. So let's actually call this method. We're gonna call it uh, right wherever we get the user. So here's the user, Firebase user. So let's go check the user. I guess check if the user, if user is logged in. We can go check current user, user, and there we go. So now let's run that and see if it will successfully navigate us to the login screen since we don't have a user logged in. We get a crash. Oh, I think it's because we didn't add the login screen to the manifest. Let's go into the manifest, and yeah, there's no login activity there. So activity, uh, we get our register activity in there, and also we go activity and login activity. Yeah, so register activity, login activity. And I'm just gonna check in login activity. Nothing special here, so it should work. Let's run that again. So there we go, it did actually successfully navigate us to the login screen. So this is a good place to stop the video here and in the next one, I'm gonna write all the code to actually log in a user from the login screen and we can test uh, logging in and whether or not it will keep successfully navigating us to the login screen and it will navigate us to home activity if that user is already logged in. So I'll see you guys in that next video.